I have two chemistry textbooks, two calculus textbooks. Allison Fullington is starting senior year with a full class load. You have two backpacks? I have two backpacks, yeah. On top of her backpacks worth of work, something else is weighing on her. We never thought something like this would happen. Allison is one of 92 students at Liberty High School in the Issaquah School District who has missing scores from College Board AP tests taken last May. Well, they haven't taken responsibility for anything, and I wish that if they really did lose the test, that they would. In July, her AP English language score never showed up with the rest of them, so she contacted College Board, the organization behind the tests. They told her that the delay was probably her fault for not filling out information. And then the next day, August 29th, uh, I got the first email from our school saying that the College Board did not, in fact, have the tests. I spoke to the school district and they tell me that the College Board tells them that the tests actually got to them okay. The tracking information backs that up. But something happened and now sections of the tests are gone. They're just missing for some reason. And now students like Allison have three options. Get a refund, retake the test, or have College Board give them a projected score using the sections of the test that they do have. Something not all colleges accept. I have some friends that are applying to scholarships based on their AP scores. And without this one AP score, they may not get that scholarship. I didn't believe it. I, I really didn't. Her dad and lawyer Greg Fullington says they are going to try and negotiate with College Board. We'll give them the three options and that's all you have to go with. And because they have a monopoly, there's nowhere else to turn. As she deals with the heavy load, she hopes that other hardworking kids don't ever have to worry about lost tests on top of everything else. To have to go through this and have to make decisions like this on limited information and on limited time. And I just, I don't want anybody else to have to do that. So the College Board has not yet responded to our questions. Meantime, the Issaquah School District says it is working with each of the students impacted.